In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to download and install MuseScore on a Linux system or on a Chromebook, which actually runs Linux as well. So I am currently on my Chromebook, and I'm going to walk you through the process, but I do need to uh, kind of give you a warning that every Linux system is a bit different. There's all the different flavors of Linux that are out there, the different distributions, and so the details might vary. So what I'm going to do is I'm starting here on MuseScore.org, which is always where we're going to start in downloading MuseScore. And uh, on my Chromebook here, notice that uh, the website is not even able to determine what operating system I'm on, which is fine. I know what I'm on. I'm on Linux and it's called Debian. So I'm going to click the free download button and I'm going to come over here where it says download app image. This is what we're going to want for all of our Linux uh, installations. But when I download the app image, this is only going to install MuseScore itself. For Windows and for Mac OS, we start the process by downloading MuseHub, and then we can download MuseScore from within the MuseHub. In Linux, we're going to download these two things separately. So I'm going to go ahead and say download app image. And when I do that, it's going to prompt me uh, to go ahead and save the app image. And normally, if uh, you can save it wherever you want. If you're on a Chromebook like where I am, you're going to want to save it to your Linux files folder. Uh, and then you can go ahead and say save and so forth. So now that the app image has downloaded and saved, we actually still need to do a couple of things before we can use it. So what I'm going to do is go to my terminal window, and if I now list the files here, ls is the command to list files, it's going to show me that I have that file. This is the file that I just downloaded here, musescore-4.0.0-x86 underscore 64 dot app image. <laughs> That's the file I just downloaded. I'm going to need to do a couple of things in order to run it. The first thing I'm going to type is chmod plus x and then I'm going to type in that score. I'm going to type in that file name and I'm going to use command completion. I'm typing a few letters and then pressing tab to uh, to let it complete automatically for me. So I have now typed in that full uh, name of that file, the app image file. So chmod plus x. This is what's going to make it executable. The next thing that I want to do is I want to actually run it, but I want to give it the install option. This is going to be what's going to integrate it with my desktop. So I'm going to go dot slash, and this is what's going to allow it to run from the current folder. And then the same process of just typing that name, uh, and I type the first few letters and hit tab so that it completes it for me. So I type in the name of that file and then give it the option install. And then if I hit enter right now, it will install the uh, app image and integrate it into my desktop environment. Now I've already done that, so I'm not going to do this now, but it, it will normally do that for you. So once it's installed, it will appear as an icon there on your uh, taskbar or desktop environment uh, for whatever Linux system you might be using. But this is again on Chrome OS. And then you can start MuseScore just by clicking the icon just as you would uh, with any other program installed any other way. So that's how you install MuseScore itself. But now let's come back and talk about MuseHub. I'm going to go back where I was to that download page here. And this time, I'm going to say I want to download MuseHub because I need it to get the Muse sounds. That's the orchestral library. So when I download this, I also want to go to my Linux files. And the uh, file that I'm downloading now is MuseHub. And since I've already downloaded it, my uh, browser is, is putting a 1 after the name uh, just to indicate that I've already downloaded it and now I'm downloading another copy. And that's fine. Um, but the extension is .deb. 
and that's for Debian, and um, that's what you're going to download then to install MuseHub. So I'll go ahead and say save that. And now what I can do on uh, you can just double click that file and it should install MuseHub. This works also on Chromebook. So I'm clicking down in my uh, taskbar area and here's the downloads and if I click this to uh, run it it's um, going to offer to install with Linux. And so just go ahead and install it. And again, on your own Linux distribution, the process might look a little bit different, but the idea is the same. We are double clicking that .deb file to be able to install it. So when I do that, MuseHub will now be installed. And since I've already installed it, I'm not going to do it again, but I want to show you how to run the uh, MuseHub. Now on some systems, you might be lucky and you might just be able to run it. You might just be able to type muse-hub into your terminal window, or you might be able to go to your application launcher and find uh, muse-hub already has an icon there. So if you're lucky, that will work. When I type muse-hub and try to run it, I'm gonna get muse-hub will appear but I get an error message here that says the helper service is not running. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and I want to show you how to run the helper service if you need to. So on some systems it might already have been started when you did the installation of MuseHub, but on other systems it might not. So if it is not running on your system, if you see that error, you're going to type the following sudo and then muse hub service like this and then put an ampersand after that and that's what's going to allow it to run in the background so when i hit enter now the service is now running in the background and now i can type muse hub to run the muse hub and when i do that now muse hub is running and it's happy and it's told me it's showing me with the check marks here that I've already downloaded all these sounds but if you haven't downloaded them all they will say get and then you can click them and then it will download those sounds so that is the process for downloading and installing both muse score 4 as well as the muse hub and muse sounds on a Linux system or a Chromebook